Our dinosaur of the day is Pentaceratops aquilonius, and it lived about 75 million years ago. The species was discovered in 2014 after its fossils were gathering dust in a Canadian museum for over 75 years. Dr. Nick Longrich from the University of Bath in England was the one who realized this was a new species when he was studying them. He saw that Pentaceratops and a second dinosaur now named Cosmoceratops were more similar to dinosaurs from the American Southwest, but originally Pentaceratops was classified as Ankyceratops and Cosmoceratops was classified as Chasmosaurus. Pentaceratops aquilonius was more like a primitive version of Pentaceratops sternbergi, which was discovered in 1921 in New Mexico. There are a lot of different kinds of Chasmosaurinae, a group of large horned dinosaurs with frills, and that's probably because dinosaurs spread out all over the continent and then adapted and evolved into new species once they got there. Competition between these groups would have kept them from moving after they had evolved into their individual niches. Because of all these adaptations, that's why scientists have found so many different species in different habitats. There's at least 10 types of chasmosaurs, and northern and southern chasmosaur species look different. Actually, the way that these dinosaurs were distributed is different from how current mammals are distributed. Dr. Longrich said that mammals tend to be smaller but live in large ranges, but dinosaurs in the Cretaceous tend to be larger and live in smaller regions. He said this is because mammals may be more intelligent, and quote, they tend to have more flexible behavior and adapt their behavior to their habitats. On the other hand, dinosaurs may have had to adapt themselves physically to survive in a different habitat and evolve new species. Perhaps that's the reason why there are so many species. Pentaceratops aquilonius is small. It's about the size of a buffalo. Scientists think that Pentaceratops aquilonius may have grown larger than a buffalo as it got older if the one in the museum was a juvenile, but they're not sure. Pentaceratops has five horns on its face, thus the penta, and Triceratops has three, thus the tri. Pentaceratops also had a different shaped frill than Triceratops. So we've kind of mentioned this already, but Pentaceratops aquilonius is part of the subfamily Chasmosaurinae, which are ceratopsians. And Chasmosaurs are known for their large brow horns and long frills. Most of them lived in western Canada, western U.S., and northern Mexico. And again, the first Pentaceratops fossils were found in 1921, the Pentaceratops sternbergi. So Pentaceratops lived about 76 to 73 million years ago, which makes it one of the last dinosaurs. And Pentaceratops have been found in the Kirtland Formation in New Mexico and may have stretched all the way up to Alberta. A lot of other dinosaurs have been found in the Kirtland Formation, and one of them includes Titanoceratops, which is closely related to Triceratops than Pentaceratops, and is larger.